I'm, I'm, you, for 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 so yeah, this is the last story of Somophobia, and we also have the epilogue, so this is gonna be a pretty long video. Well, I don't think it's gonna be that long. Like, it's not gonna be like a 50 long video. It'll probably be like another 20 minute video, like Somophobia. So if you're wondering what the story is about, um, it is about, uh, a guy named Grady, who has Clethophobia. Even though the description said he's a f small place, is in claustrophobia. The wheel, you later see in the story he has, he has clethophobia, and working as a technician is hard for him. You'll see why. So, um, there's the non-spoiler review, here comes the spoilers. So, for some reason it starts off with someone else named Kim and her pals in the in Freddy Fazbear's Pizza Plex. And they're looking at the map to f go find a roller coaster, I think. So a lot of that, they look at other places, and mostly it's going to be very familiar. They talk about the Urban Legend RP Auditorium, which we already heard in um the recent story, Pressure. They also talk about, um, they also mention the tubes at Freddy's Fortress, and the Haps, the animatronics. So this takes place before Haps, um, are corrupted. Um, uh, one point, some, this was interesting. Kim noticed a tiny wobba with white big hand with big white hands. I'm gonna assume this is music man, but he said white big white hands. What the party has with big white hands? Lally? No, I don't think so. I don't think he had white hands. Or maybe he did, I don't think they were that big. But I'm not sure. We also mentioned a tilt -a whirl which is a cupcake with lots of arms and legs. I'm pretty sure this was only mentioned in another story, but I'm not sure. He also mentioned how the AR booth and how it was um dismantled. And or well it's um under construction and we all know why from the story under construction. Um moving on from that. Um so they were looking at the index and they saw something called Ballard's Fitness and Flex and it's not actually in the map. So they think it was just some like unused thing that I was never finished. So, but they never talk about that. Well, next year again, they just go on the roller coasters. Um. So yeah, and then we go to five months earlier with Grady, uh, who is a technician at the pizza place. So um. So he was just looking at things. Uh, Carol saw with Foxy. Um. And how Grady Uzzy doesn't like robots or AI. And if you're wondering, this actually takes place before the place opens. So this is like during its um this just like building. It's probably after the epilogue, but it's before it um came to place. So he's with his friend Rodin and I think Hate. And Grady was inviting Rodin to do some gaming on Saturday. Rodin um, was was busy working on a sweater, or something like that. Um, and Paige said that they had to leave and go to some lake, I think. Um, but Grady decided to stay overnight because they had to do a few more tests, and he does not want to work on Saturday. Which makes sense. No one works wants to work on Saturday. Um, so, um, so they, um, I think, so, oh wait, one time they mentioned how this place is near on the night, well, we all know that. Uh, all he needed to do was to test two games. This one being Skee Ball, Hoops, and Belor's Fitness and Flex. So this is when the place was like being, the person being built. Yes, yeah, so, so first he tested the Skee Balls and, um, the, the, the fixes he needed to do. And stuff. What? Um. Then he wait. Then he went to. He completed um, testing the ski ball. So all let's do is test the Belor game, which was between the laser tag and the roller coaster. Um. 
Also, Bloor's place was actually in lower levels. The other place that apparently also has lower levels is some of the fortress, as in Freddy's fortress, which I think we only knew. They kind of mentioned that in the half story. So, yeah, um. Also, at one point, Grady said he did not want to test hats, and he was right to. The bake was malfunctioning. Um, Ballora was a exercising place with climbing walls, serpentine tubes. I think that's always said. Serpentine? Yes, yeah, serpentine. Um, um, it was to. Okay, so it was for people to wiggle. And pull people. Oh, wiggle and pull people to tight spaces by twisting, twirling, stretching. Oh, that's it. <laughs> um. Um. Okay. They talk of. Oh, look. Uh, also. Um. Oh wait. Say he's twenty-seven years old. Okay. Oh, what? Well, right now, this is the reason why. Yeah, that's pleophobia. When he was five, he had a. He had two babysitters, one of them being Bone, and um, he um, trapped them in a closet. Pretty much. Um, when he got out, he had a, a spare wrist and a sword throat. Because I don't, I don't remember how long he's been there for. I don't think he ever said how long. Maybe like almost a day? I don't know. But this is when he had piece of theria. Phobia, and he had a lot of therapy stuff. So now, so while checking the course, Laura um turned on or came out of nowhere. And this Ballora animatronic, it's the same thing, but it doesn't have legs. It's basically like those things. It's basically just only the upper part of the things. I don't know how to describe it. You know those robots where they only need the upper. Part of the body, you know, those type of things. I think that's what they're telling on. Um, so basically, she said that she w he she wants him to pass the courts. As in, the only way she's gonna, he's gonna leave is to do the course. Um. Ah, uh, so she told him to slide. Um, to slide on the tube. But Grady was worried he would get stuck. But Pelora promised he would get him out. Um, so he did the first slide. And the slide, all he had to do was squirm and skid and flex. Well, that makes sense. Um, so, um, he went to. He, so he was able to get out of the first pipe, and now it's only checkpoint one. I think there are like three or four checkpoints. I think there were three. No, there were four. Maybe. I'm not sure. Uh, so the next, so so the next one um, was even tighter, which led to him getting stuck. So he called for help. Um, but we'll first try to try to say he can do it. But no, he couldn't. So Bloor then helped. Um, and what? And um, yeah. And then he should pull him out. Then he had to go to some, I think some tow thing. And while she, he was. I think we were talking about those things that you go like this, like this, you know, you have to grab on the rope and stuff. And while that, his sword got on fire. Um, probably because of how frigid, flammable they are. No, I don't think they're flammable. Maybe they are, I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, his sword got on fire. But well, he was able to, um, dry it out after he got out of the, the, the rope. Two cone rope thing. So now he was on checkpoint two. Um, so he continued to um, the more of the pipes and tubes. And he got stuck again. Well, he was he didn't want to call up Ballora because because he was afraid of Ballora. So he just decided that he was just gonna wait there till the morning. That was it. But then Ballora came and knew he needed help, so he started pulling them out. But, um, the fact that the thing was so, um, tight, started crushing him. Started crushing him, and, um, started breaking his fingers and jaw, and I don't think it said his jaw. Oh, his left shoulder got dislocated. Um. 
and then you gotta pull the part. Yeah, um, so Ronan and, and Tay went back to look for Grady because they think because he was because they wanted to check on him and they realized he was still here, so they went uh, to find him. Um, Grady met told Tate about his clethophobia and how it's the fear of being stuck or trapped. I think we should have mentioned that in the beginning. Yeah, we should have mentioned that how it was about the fear of being stuck. Um, or maybe we did, we just don't remember. Um, um, Tay mentioned the Frasbury Fried's haunted house from the last story. It's a lot of references to the last story for some reason. Um, so they found Grady in the tubes, but for some reason he was still breathing. Um, they tried to get him out, but then they realized they could get in, uh, they wouldn't be able to get him out, and if they call the elements, uh, ambulance, they could get a lot of trouble for leaving him there. So, they just left him there. Yeah, um, and, um, and I think the last thing we heard before he, I think he eventually died was, just stuck, I wanna help. So, yeah, and that was it. Um, yeah, um, a lot to theorize, um, what happened to the Ballora animatronic? It was probably just doing what she wanted, it probably. So you're saying there was no malfunctioning, it was just an unfortunate disaster. Yes. Or well, maybe it's because they just, well maybe it's because they need to work more on the tubes. Hmm, I guess you're right. So is that really that much to theorize? I don't know. Anything related to do with how Circus Speed could beat um, the CEO? Mm, no. Yeah, I can't think of anything. So, what's the... Alright, now we gotta talk about the epilogue. So, it takes back to Lucy, if you remember. With her pals. Let me just remember all their names. Adrian, Jace, um, Hope, Nick, Joel, Wade, and Kelly. Adrian said that they all need to split up because um, they were being tracked by... Um, <coughs> the end of when we all... The end though, that we all think would be that end though, that we all think is sperm trap. So they all find the plans. A they all split up with Adrian and Jace. Um, we're going to the main dining rooms, um, arcade lobby and party rooms with Hope and Nick. Going to the stage backstage and kitchen with Joe and Wade. Um, going to the employee lounge and storage room and furnace. Um. And L Lucia and Kelly go into the bathrooms, maintenance room, and a room with a room with more pots and uh, an office. Um. Um. Yeah. Uh, so they went to the uh, they first showed us with Lucia and Kelly. Um. Looking at faded posters of the OGs. Um. And then them going to the bathrooms, then takes to uh, Jade and Wade of them finding uh, some of uh, the pager and then them working on the vents, maybe something like that. Until um, they heard wait, until they heard footsteps, so then they went to the storage. Then shows it with Hope and Nick, um, were on the stage and um. We have, um, there is a door, a secret door in a wardrobe, I think. That'll be important later. Um, and then shows an Adrian Chase at the arcades. Then shows us back to Nick. Um, what? Nick was checking the secret door. Nick got, um, pulled by the endo. And of course, like the, um, guards, his arms and his arm. And then head got ripped off. So yeah, Nick's dead. Nick Miller's dead. Wait, what? Wait, what? <laughs> okay. <laughs> what? Um. Anyways. Um. Of course, Hope Van. Di what are we doing? Um. Um. Hope ran away. And then he he ran up to see and Kelly told them to run away while they were checking the office. Um. And then they all met up with each other. She tried to tell them. The next day, and um, they all decided went to parts of service. 
where they found suits or something because they said they wanted to build something that can hand off but the Enders can attack first and killed Hope and then they all ran. So yeah, you can see how um wait should we describe how Hope died? Nah I think that will be too graphic um yeah um so yeah um I'm not sure how they could wrap this up that they already killed off two people seeing how we might think this is going to be another 11 stories. Alright, this is going to be another 11 stories. And already, 9 have been confirmed to be revealed. I'll be surprised by the, by the time this uploads, we got the confirmation of a 10th book. If I actually want to go right now, let me check there is a 10th book reveal. So far on Amazon, I haven't seen any about a 10th or 8th or 9th, but I know the 8th and 9th, but I just want to show you the next story that we're going to be reading when that comes out this, this December. So, Mechophobia. And um, then after that, there's um, the, I think somewhere here. Uh, the Bobby Dots conclusion with number five, um, Nexi with number six, and um, seven with um, Tiger Rock. Um, also, by the way, I want to talk about. Um, see now that that fifth book's called the Bobby Dots conclusion. It is pretty clear that one of the stories in Samicophobia will definitely be the something called the Bobby Dots, something like that, like the Bobby Dots intro or just the Bobby Dots. So yeah, so yeah, that's a confirmed story that we only know just because of some details so expect a story called the puppy dots in the fourth book and then for the third story we aren't entirely sure what it will be but yeah um what else okay there's i think there's another pay others um website that also show books so let's go check that one well so far it looks like a tenth book has been revealed but i'm been like in a week or two then there will be a reveal nation of the tenth book but let's get theorizing actually. Um, uh, what do we actually theorize? Um, the fact how why didn't Spurn Trap even do all that? In what the rip arms and head? Why didn't he do that to Gregory? Maybe he just wanted Freddy to do it, or maybe it was that they didn't thought of it, or that it was too graphic for the game. Yeah, I think it was too, maybe too graphic for the game. Yeah, that makes sense. Though, we could see something like this with Burn Trap in the second end of DLC. That could be true. Is there even anything else to talk about? No. Not really. So I'm a phobic really gave us a lot to theorize. More. I feel like with more revealness, I think it would be somophobia. Or pressure. One of those. Pheophobia, I don't see any really theories or theory stuff. Maybe. I'm not sure. But yeah, um, hope you enjoy these summaries, though, in like, a few weeks, we're gonna have to do another few summaries, because another book's coming out. Um, uh, um, so yeah, hope you all enjoyed, please have to subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. Bye, everybody!